Hi, I'm Julie, and I was a sugar baby at Georgia State. Um, not anymore, but definitely an experience. Sugar baby is a girl who is just trying to capitalize off of the wants of older men that are willing to pay for it. If you probably would have asked me in high school, I probably would have been like, mm, that girl's probably a slut if she's doing that or she's gotta be handing out sexual favors, but actually doing it and then knowing girls that do it that that's not what they're doing, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. If some older guy wants to pay me to sit in front of him and just look at me, I don't really see where that's like an ethical issue. I wanted something that I could just do on my own schedule and it pays more. There's more money out of it. The process of becoming a sugar baby is really simple. Just downloaded the Seeking Arrangements app and then set up a profile and kind of waited until it got hits and really overnight it got hits and by the morning it was just a list of all these names wanting different things. I just kind of sorted through it, things that I was comfortable with, things that I wasn't because I knew there'd be like a certain expectation that I wasn't willing to fulfill. In the beginning of it, I was like really hesitant to get out there and actually go on a date. And then when I finally actually like went out there and did it, it probably took me like three weeks to actually feel comfortable with it after talking to these people. In the process of getting ready for the date, like mentally preparing, it really started when I would start to physically get ready for it, putting on makeup and picking out my outfit I was putting on makeup to be a different person. I wasn't putting regular everyday makeup on. I was making myself look different and I was wearing different clothes to appeal to these people. It was just a completely different look and that's how I would prepare. Once I started actually going on the dates, it was hard to stop. So as far as the dates that I went on, I went the extra mile in my safety and actually had a guy come with me every time and he would sit near or around where we were, make sure nobody slipped anything into my drink or tried to like cross the line because I was super worried about that and it hurt stories. I think people should know that it's not safe. Uh, it's really easy to get caught up with the wrong guy who's gonna take advantage of you somehow. And you know, limits that you set for yourself in the beginning, like, you know, as for me, like I set sexual limits on it. Like I wouldn't ever go anything past like a peck, like a, a small kiss. That was never something that I was looking to do. Overall, I don't regret getting on the website and going on those dates. It helped me while I was in a rough spot and I didn't compromise any of my morals over it. It really isn't about being a slut or lowering your values if anything like it gave me confidence that these men wanted me couldn't have me and would pay me for it